Now you might wonder where are those variables coming from, Anais? You didn't define any variables here. What is this? Well, let me show you. If I ask you what's your code coverage like, where do you go? Where's the first place that you look? Now in this code for QuickBytes, I'm going to show you in five minutes or less how you can add coveralls, which is a web-based code coverage reporting tool directly to your CodeFresh pipeline. So with every build, a coverage report will be pushed to coveralls and you can see insights over time. Let's go. Now, as you can see here, this is kind of the end stage that we want to achieve. We have in coveralls all of our code coverage reports that have been pushed with our previous builds to coveralls. Let's head over to our pipeline. Now, as you can see here, I have within my test project, the coveralls example pipeline, which is which defines the pipeline of a basic JavaScript application that first runs test on the project, on the application, and then creates a coverage report. Now, in this case, I'm going using the inline YAML syntax for my CodeFresh pipeline. I have several different stages here, clone, build, and test. In this case, my test stage is a freestyle step, meaning I defined the kind of image that it should run in, what kind of commands it should use, and just generally what it should behave like. You can find here examples of steps as well as additional steps and features in our step marketplace. As you can see here for Coverall specifically, I execute all the co commands within a node image. It should use as the working directory the application that I use in the clone step. And then I define my commands. I first need to have a Coverall service name, which is basically code fresh. I need to have the branch. This uses the code fresh specific variable to define the branch that I'm on. And then I need to have the Coverall's repository token. Now this token is provided right when I add a new application to my Coverall's account in the UI. So you can get that from there. Then I install Jest and I run my test suite. Now you might wonder where are those variables coming from, Anais? You didn't define any variables here. What is this? Well, let me show you. Over here in the variable section, I first set the Coverall service name to CodeFresh. And then I define my Coverall's repository token. I do this over here since I do not want to add the credentials directly in my pipeline, which I might later on push to my Git repository. Now, once this is all defined, hit save, and then you can run your pipeline. Run. And this will execute my pipeline. I can see every step here in the output section and follow along with the output of each step. Now let's fast forward to when the pipeline has finished building. Now as you can see here, it just finishes up the installation for Jest. And then it executes my tasks and produces a test coverage report and pushes it to coveralls. Now if I go to coveralls and I refresh the current page, I will see here my latest build. This is how you add coveralls to your CodeFresh pipeline. I hope this was helpful and useful. If you have any questions, please do reach out. We would love to help you and provide you with further details. Also, we have really extensive documentation. You can find everything here, YAML syntax, bunch of examples, hit examples, and oh my God, you scroll down and you see testing, code coverage, code cuff, similar, and coveralls. Find it here, do it. It's easy peasy. So. That's it for today. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.